Franken is stepping down. He says he can no longer be effective in Washington. The Minnesota Democrat resigned his Senate seat yesterday amid growing sexual misconduct allegations. Let me be clear. I may be resigning my seat, but I am not giving up my voice. I will continue to stand up for the things I believe in as a citizen and as an activist. But Minnesotans deserve a senator who can focus with all her energy on addressing the challenges they face every day. In his speech, Senator Franken quoted his mentor, Senator Paul Wellstone, who said politics is about improving people's lives. Franken says the work he has done in the Senate has improved people's lives, and he said serving the people of Minnesota in the Senate has been the great honor of his life. Franken also mentioned sexual misconduct allegations against President Trump and Alabama Senate candidate Roy Moore. I, of all people, am aware that there is some irony in the fact that I am leaving while a man who has bragged on tape about his history of sexual assault sits in the Oval Office, and a man who has repeatedly preyed on young girls' campaigns for the Senate with the, with the full support of his party. This all began when radio host Leanne Tweeden said Franken groped her and forcibly kissed her during a 2006 USO tour. Since then, eight women have shared their alleged experiences, saying Franken also inappropriately touched them. Then 32 Democratic senators called on Franken to resign. And then Sunday before last, Senator Franken told our Esme Murphy he apologized and said he was embarrassed and ashamed of what have come out. Senator Amy Klobuchar said Senator Franken told her just yesterday morning about his final decision to step down. She says after his speech announcing his resignation, she was at Franken's office where he was trying to console his staff. Some were in tears. Of course, there's a lot of young people that have worked with him uh, for many years or are brand new. And that was a really tearful moment for them. But he was kind of giving them a pep talk about the work that would continue and um, and I talked briefly with Senator him. Klobuchar says Franken told her the reason that he had to resign is that he felt he could no longer be effective as a senator for Minnesotans if he faced a lengthy Senate ethics investigation. Yesterday, Governor Mark Dayton said he extended his deepest regrets to the women who have had to endure their unwanted experiences from Senator Franken. He said, quote, as a personal friend, my heart also goes out to Al and his family during this difficult time. So here's what's coming up next. Governor Mark Dayton will appoint someone in the next few days to Franken's vacant Senate seat. That person will serve until a special election is held in November 2018. The winner of the special election will serve out the last two years of Franken's term until 2020. And then here's what that 2018 election is going to look like. It's not just Senator Franken's seat that's up. Senator Amy Klobuchar is also up for re-election. Minnesotans will also vote for a new governor as well. We're going to continue to follow the development of Senator Al Franken's resignation on TV and online. Well, Verizon is showing off the technology inside U.S. Bank Stadium for the upcoming Super Bowl. They're making sure no tweet or picture from inside the game will go unsent. There are 1,200 cell phone antennas that will be disguised in hand and drink rails, under seats and along the walls in the stadium. All that voice and digital data is routed into what's called the headroom, which will be highly secured. Coaches and media suck up data, too, so there are twin matzing ball antennas perched high above the field, which is a first for an NFL stadium. Based on the amount of usage that just continues to grow and grow and grow as data volume increases, we engineered U.S. Bank Stadium to be able to support that demand for Super Bowl. The vast antenna network both inside and outside the stadium will remain after the Super Bowl as well. So we just get to have this like really I guess well-wired stadium. Yeah, that's nice. TV timeouts are very long. I mean, we yeah. thank you for your ad dollars, but like we got to send out some tweets. <laughs>